with the Cleveland game, the result being what it was, obviously, how, how do you guys kind of try and adjust from, from a safety's perspective, understanding that what happened wasn't just involving the safeties, but also the, the corners and, and everything associated with it as well? Yeah, well, it's just like every game, right? We make sure that we watch the tape and we're own biggest critics. And, you know, just speaking from the safety position, you know, um, those guys are are big critics of themselves and, you know, trying to put ourselves in the best position to, to help the team moving forward next week. You know, we got a different opponent. Um, and so, you know, the good and the bad of the NFL is that every week is uh, one of its own. So, you know, we're just going to try and eliminate some of the things that happened to us in particular uh, and then try and, you know, uh, get a good game plan together and, and, and play better and coach better for, uh, for another test against Jacksonville, a divisional opponent. Specifically with, with some of the things that, that happened there, what, what I guess were some of the coaching points based on, on that specific game where, where Baker seemed to manipulate um, maybe some of the safety coverage pretty well and, and get guys kind of out of position in order to take advantage, especially in that first half? We got to make sure that, uh, you know, they we do a good job in uh, play action pass and understanding, uh, you know, that we, we got to still do our job, even even if it looks like run. We got to make sure that we do a good job uh, deciphering between play action pass and the run. Um, and then, you know, like I said before, just being able to be solid in our fundamentals, whether that's tackling, um, whether that's, you know, just make sure that we're we're good in our coverages and our fundamental coverages and then man coverage, dominating our leverage, things like that. Just all those things that we work on, uh, you know, throughout the year, we, we just got to do them better and, and coach them better. Thank you. Glennon. Yeah, Scott, I know uh, we're used to seeing, you know, Kevin Byard with a, with a handful of picks, you know, at the end of the season. Um, obviously doesn't have any this year. And, and I think a, a week or two ago, he said he was a little, little frustrated by it. Uh, are you surprised by that? You know, maybe what are the reasons you think that is? And, and uh, also if you could kind of assess his overall play, you know, aside from interceptions as well. Yep. Well, just speaking of interceptions, obviously that's a part of being a, a safety, but that's not the end all be all being a safety. You know, obviously it's a safety position. There's a lot more that goes into it. Sure. No question. I'd love for KB to have, you know, a, a ton of picks. Um, the ball hasn't been, you know, coming his way a lot this year when he's when he's been, you know, a half field safety, middle of the field safety, all that type of stuff. So, you know, I think uh, it's not something where we need to be pressing that or anything like that. I think those things come. Uh, a lot of them come whenever you're <clears throat> just doing your job and, and, you know, you either get a tip like the Ravens game or, or something like that. So, again, not not pressing on that, but, you know, um, just keep on doing his job, being in the right position, uh, you know, hopefully those things will come as they have in the past. Uh, and then as far as his, his um, overall play, I mean, Kevin's a, a captain and, uh, you know, communicates our defense as far as our checks and does all that type of stuff and is doing a good job there. Obviously, um, you know, there, there are things that coming off that, that loss, you know, last week that we're going to focus on and, and try and improve, but um, you know, Kevin's always been a, 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 you know, one of our leaders on defense, obviously being um, named a captain. And, uh, you know, so I feel like he's he's coming out there competing every day, going through practice every day and, and trying to get better, just like everybody else. And, and just like he has been for the past three years, I've been with him. So, you know, his, his competitiveness and his uh his trying to get better on a weekly basis has not waned from day one I met him till now. Thank you. Paul. Hey, Scott. Uh, Kevin's sticking with Kevin. He's, he's brought up communication as an issue every time we've talked to him. Uh, three, three quarters of the way through the season, why, why is a guy who's been an all-pro still finding the same problem w w with the defense? Yeah, I, I guess I haven't heard any of his interviews, Paul, so I, I don't want to speak for him and say why he – said you know what he said about communication I, I i wouldn't do it justice if i spoke for him in that way do you feel like the defense is communicating as well as you feel like it should be communicating three quarters of the way through the season 
Uh, well, shoot, as a coach, you know, we always we always want better. So I think that, you know, um, we always strive for for perfect communication and our guys be talking on every play, uh, whether it's about the offense or whether it's, you know, what our defense is. And so, um, you know, I know we always strive to 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 be better and to, you know, um, you know, if there was one communication error, that's too many for for us as coaches, just from our perspective. So, um, again, you know, I, I think just like everything else uh, coming off of last week, we, we got to improve. And that's that's one area that I know we'll, we'll try and improve for for next week. Jim. And coach, I'm sorry if you, you touched on Amani earlier, but what, what have you kind of seen in, in Amani's development and what are kind of the pushing points for you as you as you try to get him to keep getting better? Yep. So, you know, a uh, uh, <clears throat> player that's in his second year, you know, we like to see, um, you know, him improve his grasp on our defense, you know, especially at the safety position, you got to be able to get guys lined up, not just in the secondary, but uh, in, in the front seven as well. Um, so a high level of, of IQ of our defense, high level of communication, um, and then to be able to do a bunch of different assignments, whether it be in the box, to blitz, to cover tight ends man-to-man, -man, uh, at times to cover slots man-to-man, -man, being the deep half, being the deep middle of the field. So there's all those different details that, you know, trying to work on him specifically to improve every day. Um, he comes to work every day trying to get better and, uh, you know, seeing some <clears throat> decent ball production from him this year. Uh, and, and we, you know, we're looking forward to seeing that increased ball production and also him being able to, you know, continue to, to, um, you know, make strides in our defense and both uh, the run game and the pass game. And I know when we've talked to KB before, he's, he's kind of even admitted himself. He's, he's itching to make a play, wants to get a turnover. I mean, do you, do you worry about a guy pressing too much? sometimes and and what's his mindset been uh when you've dealt with him yeah i mean <clears throat> obviously a, a guy like kb he wants to make a play on every on every play you know what i mean that's what makes him great and so uh you know i i don't worry about him pressing to ask answer your question specifically um you know what, what we try and focus on is just the process of, of playing safety and on in our defense uh, obviously, the communication, uh, the the ability to get everybody lined up, ability to do some disguising, and then the ability to do the job, whether it be in the box or in the deep half, all that type of stuff, every every play. And if we do that at a high level, those things will come to us. So, all righty, that's it. Appreciate you both. Okay, thanks. Oh, wait, hold on, Teron. Sorry about that. I got in a uh, late. Um, I, I could be wrong, Coach, but it, it seems like KB is playing a little bit more in the box than from that post position that, that he played last year. Is is that the case? Is that a, a correct, um, I don't know, observation? Uh, honestly, Teron, I'd tell you if it was, but I don't, I don't believe so. I think that, you know, what we talk about is that we want our guys to be able to be uh, diverse players and interchangeable, and so the – defense not being able or the offense excuse me not being able to get a beat of who's deep and who's in the box and all that type of stuff so um you know there's really been no change uh from our end as far as how we utilize our guys or anything like that okay so what, what you're asking him to do this year is similar to what he was asked to do last year yeah i mean every year our our defense you know is going to uh you know be revamped a little bit and we're going to have some different calls and some different things, you know, we're going to evolve as a defense. So um, mm -hmm. our defense isn't exactly the same from, from any year, you know, that's just the evolution of our defense, but right. as far, you know, one guy, you know, being specifically a high guy, one guy being specifically a low guy or something like that. We, we haven't had that in our defense uh, since we've been here. So.